get the Herbalife drink in, get ready. A couple minutes behind schedule here for 2.15. We're at like 2.45, 2.50. But we're going to get going here. Make sure we're all mic'd up, all set up. Here in the bunker, secret location. Steve says, episode number 23. Today we're going to go over the exact blueprint to map out your path to always moving forward, always improving, and to reach your peak potential. We're going to go through, you know, we're going to play our games and our words that we always do every week to help you out to get to where you need to be. What do we got behind me here? We got some fighter jets behind me. Our little sign here, get your shit together. And some Marine Corps books is what behind me before you ask, because I'm probably blocking it. So today we're going to talk about how to adapt and overcome to any situation, constantly improve, always heading in a straight line to success, to reaching and freaking crushing, dominating your goals, how to truly become a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday. We're going to do some self-development peak freak style. Camera just collapsed. And there's a nice close-up shot of our new, one of our new tank tops we have for sale at the gym. Just gonna get this stuck in and we're gonna get started. There you go, a nice zoomed in shot of one of our new tank tops. All right, so there we are. So we're gonna go over how to truly become a better version of yourself today than we were yesterday. Self development in our usual peak freak style that you've come used to. So we're on episode number 23. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do another live video tomorrow, a short live video where we're gonna announce the clients of the month. That's gonna be tomorrow. But we're gonna get started here today. Who can tell me to start right off the bat, play a little game for a, one of our free t-shirts. You like, I like to give away at least a t-shirt every week. So who can tell me my four favorite phrases that you probably hear me say this shit all the time. Who can tell me them? These four phrases alone have helped me set my freaking path in life, molded the freak that i become today and have been the solution to tons of problems for me, my clients, and anyone around my circle of influence. So who can tell me my four favorite phrases? If you're around me, you hear them all the time. If you watch these, these live broadcasts every week, then you hear these all the time, and you're gonna hear today, it's all about these four phrases. Shit, you never know, I might have already said some of them today. Become a better version of yourself. Yes, every day though. Become a better version of yourself every day, that's one. We need three more, three more phrases. What do we got? Let's go, we gotta go quick because I usually wanna get these done before the, the training session starts, which is in 20 minutes. So we need to get this shit going. Three more phrases. Let's go Maureen, you should know what these are. Adapt and overcome, there's number two. I already said it as I was getting started here, right? So I gave you a couple of them. We got two more, two more. We have adapt and overcome. Become a version, version, version of yourself every day. Get your shit together. Well, no shit. How'd you figure that one out? It's right there on the fucking wall. Get your shit together is number three. We have one more. One more. Who's got the next one? This is the main one that today is about. Well, all these, all these kind of tied together. These all mean basically the same thing. We got, need one more. So we have adapt and overcome. Get your shit together. Become a better version of yourself every day. We need one more phrase. My other favorite phrase. There's four of them. Let's go, what do we got, what do we got? You got like 10 seconds to figure out this last one. Adapt and overcome. Trust the process, no, that is up there, but that's not here in the top four. Trust the process is there. That'd probably be number five, but good guess. That is definitely number five. One more, it's just a little more common and a little more powerful than trust the process even. All goes in line. Basically, they all mean the same thing. One more, one more, you got three seconds. Two seconds, and no one's got it. One second, and so we have adapt and overcome. Get your shit together. Become a better version of yourself every day. And my favorite, no excuses, no, that's obvious, come on, is stop being a little bitch. They all mean the same thing if you think about it. Adapt and overcome, stop being a little bitch, get your shit together and become a better version of yourself every day. And we're gonna tie all those in together today and tell you exactly how these break down and how you can go about making this happen. So adapt and overcome, we're gonna start with. That's gonna be the umbrella of it all today. So this is an old Marine Corps saying that has solved so many problems, both major and minor. It basically, means to make shit happen, get shit done. You know, my version of this, again, is just is 
th that solve many problems, like I said, is just stop being a little bitch. That's basically adapt and overcome is stop being a little bitch. Just make shit happen. Don't let your circumstances dictate your direction or your fucking outcome of any situation. You have, you have things that need to get done, things you deserve. You have goals and fucking dreams. Go above and beyond and reach and grab that shit. Take control of it. Grab by the fucking horns and do what you need to do to make shit happen to get to where you need to be. Shit isn't always going to go your way. It's not always going to be all just, you know, fun and games. So you need to have the ability to adapt and overcome. Humans are resilient and resourceful and we can adapt to almost fucking anything that gets thrown our way. Think about it. The human body is designed to adapt automatically to tons of things around you, to your surroundings, to your environment, to the, to the weather, to the atmosphere. Think about when you eat healthy. You have energy. You lose weight. If you eat a bunch of shit, you gain a ton of fat. Those are automatic. Your body is automatically adapting to that. If you eat a bunch of shit, you're getting fat. If you take a boot camp class, you feel energetic, you feel strong, and you sweat. Your sweat is your body naturally adapting to elevate the heat levels of your body when you're, you're kicking ass in that boot camp or boxing class. So you lift weight, you build lean muscle, you increase testosterone, which makes you feel like a fucking beast. If you meditate or pray, you have a better sense of well-being and control and calmness, like me, controlled and calm and well-being, and not give a fuckingness about what's, what's, what's going on around you. So your, the human body is, is designed to adapt and overcome. It's made to adapt automatically. Why do you mean thinking about it subconsciously? And these are not just physical, you know, adaptations. These are, you know, mental, psychological, and even fucking spiritual adapting is what your body's going to do. So now we're going to say, what, what are three ways to be successful and to help you adapt and overcome? We need three different ways. Who can give me them? We only got a couple of uh, seconds for this. Three things you can do or three ways, three things that can help you adapt and overcome. We're looking for three single words. What do we got? We're going to go through them in a second. I'm going to give you the first one and you can think about the next ones. They kind of tie into each other and one leads into the next. You got like two seconds to try and come up with some of those. We need you to get all three of them. I'll give you one at a time, but I'm about to give you the first one. I can give you a little bit of a hint, but you kind of need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. There's your hint. You got three seconds, two seconds, one second. Structure, action. No, that's two words. First of all, you're trying to like, or you need three words, but we're talking about just the first one right now, but that's neither of them. We took, those are two of our words from the last couple weeks. Usually I'm not going to redo them until I run out of freaking words. I'm almost out of words. I don't know too many of them. So I'm going to be out soon. All right. I'm going to give you some synonyms for what it means. Synonyms for you smart people out there. That's words that mean the same thing. So these words, you don't even realize that these words mean the same thing. Consistency. No. These are all good words, obviously. But all right. So these are some things that mean the same as this. When, when I start giving you these synonyms, you start thinking about it and different definitions of these words, you realize that the word you're, that we're talking about is a lot deeper than you really think. You use these words all the time. So this word means to accept, to admit, to tune in, to concentrate, to obey, to give heed to, and to take advice. So what word are all those synonyms to? This is one word, one single word. And you got three seconds, two seconds. Someone got that? No. One second. I'll give one more, one more person put something in there. One more, one more try. It means to accept, to admit, to tune in, to concentrate, to obey, to give heed to, to take advice. That's what this word means. So what is my word? What is my word? All right, I'll even give you the freaking definition of the word. The definition is to pay attention to someone or something in order to hear what is being said, to take notice of an act of what, of what someone says, respond to advice or request, to make an effort to hear something, be alert and ready to hear something. I just told you it's pretty freaking easy. The word is listen, but to me, listen doesn't just mean sound. Obviously, if you just listen to everything I just said, the synonyms to the word listen, listen is our word here. So the first way to adapt and overcome is to listen. To me, listening is learning. That's how you learn is by listening. So accept, admit, tune in, concentrate, obey, give heed to, take advice. Then what does listen mean? It doesn't mean just sound. It doesn't mean just hearing something. It means to pay attention to someone or something in order to hear what's being said. So you need to pay attention in order to listen. We're not talking about just sound and noise. So it also means to take notice of an act of, of what someone says, respond to advice or to a request. It also makes, means to make an effort to hear something, be alert and ready to hear something. So look at that. You have to make an effort, to take notice, to pay attention. This is what listen means. And to me, listen, to listen is to learn. That's how you learn is by listening. When you talk, 
You're only repeating shit you already know. So when you listen is when you actually might learn something and might be able to improve. You might be able to adapt and overcome is what, is what we're talking about. How to adapt and overcome our first stage. Our first step is to listen. Sometimes you need to just shut your fucking mouth, stop interrupting people with your know-it-all bullshit that you don't even fucking know anyway, and just be receptive and fucking listen in every sense of the word that we just talked about. So if you remember, listening is not just about sound. It was about concentrating, taking advice, tuning in, making an effort, and really just paying a fucking attention is what listening is. That's, that's how you listen, not by running your mouth. So just sometimes, just, seriously, just shut the fuck up and take it in. I know, me telling somebody to shut the fuck up. Funny, funny, right? But I'm just trying to get the point across to you. That's how you learn. You can't learn something new by talking. Just shut your freaking cake holster and you can only learn by listening. That's how you learn things. When I, when I was a kid, I was a miserable, unhappy, crazy little freak. I didn't listen to much, but I did, I did process everything. So, so one thing I did listen to and learn was, was about healthy eating from my mother. That's one thing I did learn from my mother and listen to. Ever since I can remember, she was into all natural whole foods and, and I'm talking about in the early 80s. So damn, I'm getting, I'm getting old as, as fuck. But she was way ahead of her, she was way ahead of her time and, and every, way ahead of everyone. And you know, everyone, including her own freaking kids would, would make fun of her for being such a freak about the types of food she would only eat and type of food she would buy, all natural, all healthy type stuff. And this is 30 freaking something years ago. Everyone thought she was fucking nuts, but it turns out I learned it all from her just by hearing, not just hearing this, but by listening to this and learning from it. I listened and learned it from my mother. So that's how I got the habits of the eating and the way that I eat and learned to eat healthy now. And it's still carried over. So you listen, you learn. That's how you learn. So I try to learn something new every day. I'll try to learn something from everyone that I meet. You, you can't learn from people, you know, just by telling them how awesome you are, or how cool your fucking car is or how big your fucking TV is. You can only truly learn by truly freaking listening. That's how you learn. So everyone you will ever meet knows something that you don't know. Every single person, no matter who they are, where you think they are compared to you, you think you're so great, all high and mighty. There's someone that you think is so beneath you, but I guarantee you, you can learn something from that person. So how to adapt and overcome? The first way to adapt and overcome is to listen. Now we need our second word. You didn't listen too well. Well, now you're listening. Now it's sinking in. Sometimes it takes a little longer to learn from what you listen to, but it's sinking in now, Maureen. Now you learned, and now you're just a freaking animal. You're a freak. So we need now our second word. So to adapt and overcome, we need to be able to listen, and then we need to take that list, what we listened, what we learned from what we listened, and we need to go to this next stage. What is this next stage? I'll give you some words. If you could keep, you could try to figure it out there without any hints, but I'll give you some of the synonym definitions and all that stuff from it. So you got two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, three, two, one. We got to keep moving. We got to keep moving. Here's some words that are the same as the word I'm looking for, just to help you out with this. Adjustment, advancement, innovation, reversal, transformation, transition, variation, refinement, correction, revolution. Who can tell me what word I'm looking for with those Synonyms, those words that mean the same thing as the word I'm looking for. Adjustment, advancement, innovation, reversal, transformation, transition, variation, refinement, correction, and freaking revolution. Got three seconds to come up with the word. No one's got it. I'm going to hope that's not cutting us off. So I'll give you the definitions of it. Make or become different. Come on, this is easy stuff here. Easy stuff here. To give up something in exchange for something else. Or it means an alteration or a modification. Or it means to remove something dirty or faulty and replace it with another of the same kind. Or it means a new and refreshingly different experience. Movement? Not exactly, but that's a good guess. Kind, it kind of, it's whatever. Not exactly. Think about lateral movement almost. So again, it means adjustment, advancement, innovation, reversal, Revolution, transformation, transition, variation, refinement, correction, change. Bam, change is our word. Who got our change? Change is the word. So in order to adapt and overcome, first you need to learn from what you're listening to, listen and learn, and then you need to be, you need to be able to change. You need to have the ability to change. I just told you what it meant. So it's not the strongest species out there that survives. It's not the most intelligent species out there that survive. It's, but the ones that are the most willing and ready and willing and able and responsive to change. You have, a, quote, a quote that I have, I forget who it was from, said, to risk everything, to, to risk nothing is to risk everything. Don't be afraid of change. If you don't like where you are, you can always move and you need to be willing to change. 
then when, you know, when changes are made, good or bad, you can't just sit there like a little bitch. You got to stop being a little bitch, like we said. And you can't just sit there and whine and moan complaining about it. You need to be receptive to change and be willing to adapt to the change. Adapt and overcome. That's why it all falls into place. A, a lot of times, the change is probably for the better. And you just don't realize you're just too stubborn, too fucking hard-headed, too much of a know-it-all, too much of a dumbass. You don't even realize it. So you need to change. Like... Like when you're start, starting a new healthy way of eating, you bitch and moan about, oh, what am I allowed to eat? What can I eat? This is so plain. This is so boring. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to starve to death. Or I need to have a little fun. I need to live a little. First of all, again, stop being a little bitch. Stop being an overdramatic fucking shithead. And you know, you're not going to starve. And if you're wolfing down pizza and fucking cheesecake, if to you that's considered living a little and that's your version of fun, then you seriously need to reevaluate your entire fucking life and your priorities. And if that's what you consider fun, you just need to bash your head against a wall. That's what you need to do. So although you're, you're seeing the negative or torture of eating a little bit better or whatever, this, as, as most change usually is, is for the fucking better. You, you have probably gone years or even fucking decades eating for fun or for taste or for enjoyment or for stress, loneliness, depression. Now, does that sound like living a little chew? Does that sound like fucking fun to you? Does that sound like the life you want to live? I don't think so. So think about it. Someone tells you, oh, you got to live a little bit. Go eat this, eat this crap. Yeah, exactly. Pizza is fun. Fun when it grows on your belly. It ain't fun then. You know, it, 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 that shit doesn't sound like fun to me sitting there eating because you're depressed or alone or just because it's, it, it's to you that's fun. To me, that sounds like you're digging, digging your own fucking grave. That's what it sounds like to me. It's time to eat for nutrition, for fuel, for energy, for fat loss, for your goals, for your why, and, you know, your, and your reason for needing to do it and to lose the weight. That, that's, accepting, that's what accepting change is, and that's, that's freaking living. Being willing to change, that's living. So I went over last week about what my why was. I went deep, seven levels deep into my why. You know, my, my why was, why do I work so hard? Why I created the culture at Peak Physique that we've created and why I always try to stay in, in the best shape of my life no matter how old er we start getting. You know, it's because I don't want my kids to look at me the way that, that I looked at my father. I saw everything I, 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 that he did and I strive to do everything the exact opposite way. So my, I want my kids to want to be just like me, not the opposite of me the way I felt, I felt when I was a kid. So that's what the why I was. Also, to kind of prove everyone wrong, it was always me against the world, always tell someone, tell, someone telling me that I can't make it, I'm not gonna be shit, and that was from the beginning. And so it's just to give like a big fuck you to those people. So that's a, another one of the big whys. That's a huge one. What it broke down to was that. Everyone always telling me I couldn't do it, not, not believing in that I can do it, do it, or be successful, or make it, or be anything other than a freaking criminal, or, or an inmate, or dead. So... Be, knowing this stuff, so this is the ability to change. If, if you're, say your, your father is an alcoholic and then you become an alcoholic, you're just giving up in freaking life, using it as a fucking excuse rather than be willing to change and carve out your own destiny. I, I, even find the, I would even find the positive in it. I go through my own suffering and my miserable freaking childhood. I was able, able to become a role model to my kids. They're fucking hero and exactly who they want to be when they grow up. They, they already are just like me, the little freaks. But I listened and I learned and I was willing to change the cycle. So you can change to whatever you need to be to get to where you need to go to live the life you fucking deserve and you just need to be ready and willing to accept the change. Like damn, the word change is a little more powerful than you really thought it was, right? Next time you hear the word change, you're gonna think a little bit different about it. Especially, you know, especially when I tell you a lot of these things that will change your life. I always say, this will change your life. This program will change your life. This type of way of thinking is gonna change your life. This eating this way is going to change your life. Joining our bootcamp program is going to change your life. And I'm saying this will advance your life. I mean, when I'm saying that it'll change your life, obviously the other words for it, meaning it'll advance your life. It'll innovate your life. It'll reverse your life. It'll transform your life. It'll refine your life. It'll correct your life. It'll transition your life. And it'll cause a fucking revolution in your life. That's what the fuck change your life means. When I say I'm going to change your life, that's what I'm really saying to you is not just change. Change is a simple word. We're going a lot deeper into these words. So we had listen and learn which need to be willing to change. This is how you adapt and overcome. There's one last piece to the puzzle to be able to adapt and overcome. Can anyone tell me what it is? I'll give you the, the synonyms right now. Yes, Maureen, this saved your life. You, just, you, just, you put 50 years onto your freaking life. All right, so the third word to how to adapt and overcome, the ways to adapt and overcome and be basically become bulletproof the third word, so we had listen, we had change, and what's our third one? I'll give you the synonyms for it real quick. It's 
to dream up, invent, to wing it, to brainstorm, and to spark. It's not action. It's a twisted way of action, but I'll give you those other words for it again. It's to devise, dream up, invent, wing it, brainstorm, and spark. Those are the synonyms for the word I'm looking for, if you can figure out what that word is. I'll give you the definition real quick. It's not action. To compose and perform or deliver without previous preparation. To make, provide, or arrange from whatever materials are readily available. Can anyone figure out what our freaking word is? It means to dream up, to invent, to wing it, to brainstorm, to spark. It also means to compose and perform or deliver without previous preparation. To make, provide, and arrange from whatever materials are readily available. Who can tell me what the, our third step to mastering, adapting, and overcoming is? Who can tell me what it is? You got three seconds. Two seconds. You guys have been doing good today. Give me another word. Give me another one. Someone give me my fucking word. You got three seconds. Two seconds and one second, and I'm giving you the word. It is, you need to be able to improvise. Improvise is our word. Out of all those different definitions of improvise, the one I like the best, the one that sticks out to me the best is spark. You know, shit doesn't, sh sh I, like, I like spark the best. If shit doesn't go your way, you know, things aren't working out for you, the enemy's getting the upper hand on you, your original game plan of attack isn't working, you need to improvise. You need an immediate fucking spark. Turn the tables, flip that shit on that motherfucker, and take back control and dominate. I, I also learned my ability to improvise while, while adapting and overcoming, and actually how to just to walk and be healthy and active. A lot. Walked a lot when I was a kid. All I used to do was walk everywhere. When I was two years old, we had just moved to Rockland County, just moved to Suffern 37 years ago. We were walking to the old Caldor, which is now Walmart, and we were walking from the Mawa side of Suffern. So that's a long fucking walk. That's at least an hour walk. I was two years old. So about five minutes into the walk, my stroller broke. This old stroller that probably was, the, I was the sixth, youngest of six kids. Probably all six kids had this stroller. We had one stroller that lasted for all of us. Once the next kid popped out, probably they were in the stroller and the next one had to walk. That's probably why we're all a bunch of walking freaks. So after about five minutes into this one hour walk, going up Route 59 in the middle of traffic with a whole shitload of us freaks walking down the street, the stroller breaks. So we just ditch it on the side of the road, just toss it, and I walked all the way to the Caldor and all the way back and carrying bags on the way back. So I learned to adapt and overcome and improvise and do what I had to do, and this is from the age of freaking two. It might, it might have been a brutal lesson to learn at the time, but it, but it made tons of things easier for me later in life. From that day forward, I walked everywhere as a kid, every single day. My mother didn't drive, she didn't even have a driver's license and certainly couldn't afford a car, and I give credit I give credit you know, to my current day conditioning and physical drive and willingness to just never feel like I'm tired, never think I'm tired, and just to keep moving forward to the fact that I was forced to walk everywhere my entire life since I was two years old. I never had no damn stroller or whatever. These, these kids have these now, these skateboards they stand on, the fucking shit walks for them, and then you wonder why the country's freaking obese. But anyway, that's a whole nother freaking topic. So since I was a kid, I obviously had no friends. So I had to work out alone in our molded basement of my parents' house, just breathing in the nice mold when I'm trying to work out. So I would just use heavy books I could find around the house or jugs of water to lift to try and get stronger. I would take my mattress off the bed and stand it up and tie it around with rope, tie it around the fucking bedpost and use it as a punching bag just to, just to do some boxing and all that stuff. And so the point is there's always a way to improvise and to make shit happen. You know, I could just sit here and complain and bitch and moan but I've learned the ability to find a positive in all situations, even things that might fucking haunt me from my past. You know, in, in addition to the ability to adapt and overcome comes finding the positive out of every situation. No matter how bad or fucked up you think shit is, I guarantee things could be a lot freaking worse. I also guarantee there's something positive in there and a lesson to be learned and something not to be repeated so you can find a lesson and something positive out of every single situation. In order to adapt and overcome, like we said, you need to be able to listen, which is, means to learn. You need to be willing to change, and you need to be able to course correct by improvising on the fly, step by step, whenever you need to, change direction and improvise. This is the recipe to success for becoming a better version of yourself every day, which is our next one that we're talking about. So you hear me say this all the time, become a better version of yourself every day. The main goal you should have, the foundation of your goals, whether it's personal, professional, or fitness, should be to become a better version of your freaking self every single day. Better version today than you were yesterday.
I, I, always, I always take it another step further. I say I want to be a better version of myself this second than I was last second. Every fucking second, I want to be a better version of myself. Although we are peak physique, that is what we are called. Our tribe is peak physique. You know, you need to have a never peak mentality. Think about never peaking. There is no fucking finish line. The only finish line is the fucking cemetery. Your, your number one goal should always be to improve. No matter what level you are at or how fucking awesome you think you are or maybe how awesome you actually might have actually freaking become, you need to always move forward. You need to improve or freaking die. That's your two options, improve or die. So now what are two things we need to have to become that better ass-kicking freak freak savage version of yourself every single day. Both are very similar, but there's two things you need to have, two traits you need to have, I guess you can call them, in order to become a better version of yourself every day. You got about five seconds to figure out what one of those are while I take a quick sip. My other drink was gone, so I'm on this one. It's my Herbalife green tea. So again, there's... We did adapt and overcome. Now we're on to becoming a better version of yourself every day. You're taking taking that ability to adapt and overcome, and now using that to become a better version of yourself every day. So there's two traits you need to have to become a better version of yourself every day. Can anyone tell me what those two traits are? I guess the 315 class already started, and but whatever, we got to do what we got to do. We're gonna keep moving on. There's two things you need to do to become a better version of yourself every day. The first one is character. The first word I'm looking for is character. And we're not talking about fucking Mickey Mouse or some fake mythical creature. We're talking about who you actually are. That's what character is. Character means personality. It means quality. It means caliber. It means morale, habit, ethos. That's what, that's what character means. The definition of character is the aggregate of features and traits that form the individual nature of some person or thing. More, it also means moral or ethical quality. So when someone says a strong character, norm, usually you're gonna think of it as a positive thing and that's the way I think of it as a positive thing. Unless you say that's you know, just an asshole, then that's not a character, whatever. So my interpretation of character is someone that has standards, morals, values, goals, beliefs, and lives every fucking moment of their life guided by all of those, guided by those standards and morals and values and goals and beliefs, and lives every second by it, every second going in the direction with those beliefs. So not just when they're around their teachers or coworkers or boss or other people in the gym, but 24 hours a freaking day, no matter what. To me, that is a person of character. That's what character means to me. Character isn't something that you were, you were born with, but you know, th- there are some traits maybe that you're born with, but your character can be formed and can be molded into a stronger person, a more productive person. You know, that's, that, that, that's why we call it character, more productive person. Build, building, that's why we call it building character. You can build, you can grow, and always fucking improve. And you should always be striving to build your character and always striving to improve. Like I said, move forward or freaking die. A quote, one of my favorite quotes about uh, character was John Wooden. He said, be more concerned with your character than your reputation because your character is what you really are while your reputation is merely what others think you are. The true test of a man's character is what he does when no one is watching. Bam, that tells you right there what character means. So think about it. Do you have character? Do you have a strong character? That's where adapting overcoming comes in. That's where stop being a little bitch comes in. That's where get your shit together comes in. That's where all those sayings come in that we're talking about and then all those points that we're making. So another one, uh, Theodore Roosevelt said, I care not what others think of what I do, but I care very much about what I, what I think of what I do. That is character. Another one was... I can't think of the other one. There was another one, John Wooden. John Wooden had a lot of them. But our character basically is a combination of our, all of our habits. They say 40%, at a minimum, 40% of everything we do each day is controlled by our habits, our just natural habits. It's on like autopilot. So basically, our character is, a foundation of our character is our habits. That's basically the foundation of your character. So your thoughts Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your freaking actions. Your actions become your habits and your habits create the character you are. And guess what? Your character is what's going to pave your way to your goals, your destiny or or whatever you're you're looking, you're striving for. That's what it's going to do. So what what you do in private when no one is watching, that's what matters. That's that's the real you. That's what character is. And I thought of another one. The character is what you are in the dark. That's what, I don't even know who said it. Someone said that. Character is what you are in the dark. Obviously, when no one's watching, you're by yourself. That's what character is. Just like when I was a kid in the, the old, old, that old nasty basement, like I said about working out. To this day, I intentionally work out 
at least twice a week at home alone by myself, sometimes with my kids. Like today was with Tyson. We worked out at home together right before we had a meeting. So that, and, and there's a reason for that. Besides the fact that I fucking hate people, I, I do it to build my own character, to keep my character strong, build my own character, you know, to make myself push hard and to bust my ass when I know no one else is watching. I'm here alone. Can I sit there and bury myself and make myself drip sweat? There's no camera rolling. There's no one watching. My kids aren't even watching sometimes. I'm not in the gym. I'm n- no one is watching. That's, what, that's how I, I strengthen up. It's like a muscle like anything else. And you can work on it. You can train it. You can build it. You know, I get some good, I get some of the best workouts in at home alone because I am out to prove to myself that I am no bitch. Like I said, stop being a little bitch, right? I will, I will not take the easy fucking way out just because I can when I'm at home. I'll make sure I step it up even another notch when I'm doing it on my, on my own just to show and to build that character muscle inside of myself. I will learn to push myself to my limits no matter what my environment. It will be my natural habit to go all fucking out all day, every time, no matter who is around or who isn't around or who's watching and who's not watching. I don't give a shit. I'm going to step it up and even step it up to another level just to show to myself that I am capable of building my character and going all out when there's no eyes on me and I'm just alone doing it. Then when the invasion comes and it's time to really step it up, those habits will just take over and fucking destroy the enemy. That's what's going to happen. So in order to be a better version of yourself every day, we had, or we need our second, our second, second way of doing it. What do we got? See if anyone can come out of that real quick. I'll give you some definition of it in a second. So become a better version of yourself every day. First was character. This is all adapt and overcome. We'll, give the, we'll do a quick breakdown again at the end for you. So the next word I'm looking for means honesty, purity, sincerity, honorable, righteous, moral, principle, and faithful is what we're looking for. The definitions are adherence to moral and ethical principles, soundness of moral character, and honesty. A, the state of being whole entire or undiminished if anyone could figure out what that word is we got like two seconds so we got to keep this moving we got to keep it rolling so the word we're looking for that goes about how to become a better version of yourself every day the traits you need was character and then really right behind character values it's kind of very similar but it, the word i'm looking for is integrity integrity is the word we're looking for did i say that it was values in the definition no all right so the the, there is a, a one quote about it. The, the man who cannot believe in himself cannot believe in anything else. The basis of all integrity and character is whatever faith we have in our own integrity. That was just a, a big one. So after you've adapted and overcome, learning to deal with adversity, if you build a strong character and operate with integrity, it will be fucking impossible for you not to achieve your goals and reach massive success. These are all the pieces to the puzzle and all tied together and are all necessary to reach your fullest potential. So a quick recap of everything we just went over because it all just flows and it all makes sense. This is the shit that will change your life, like I said, and will, will make you bulletproof in addition to all these other things we talk about every single week. So to ensure you're always moving forward towards your goals, towards your freaking excellence, towards that extraordinary life that you're looking for, towards your peak freak fucking destiny, you need to adapt and overcome. How are you gonna adapt and overcome? You're gonna adapt and overcome by listening and learning. That is learning. To me, those are the same. To listen is to learn. By changing and being willing to change and then by improvising on the fly, those are adapt and overcome. So once you're able to use those three steps to adapt and overcome, that will lead to the next step of becoming a better version of yourself every day. And that comes, that happens by having the traits of a strong character and integrity. That's what it takes right there. This is like, this is like the fucking secret to life right here. This is the shit that's just going to make you unstoppable, unbreakable, just non-stop moving forward no matter where you are or no matter what your goals are. Make you freaking bulletproof. So that's really all we have now. We ran over a little bit. I wanted to be done before the, the training session started. It started 10 minutes ago. And I'll be doing a live, a short live video tomorrow in the, on the business page. So you need to make sure if you're not following the business page, you need to follow the business page because we're going to start doing some more live videos over there where I'm going to announce the client of the month. And then on Thursday... There's going to be a live video in the private VIP page for members only. I'm going to start doing a little more live videos, some on this page, some on our business page, some on a new page that I'm creating, which is just a personal page of my own, and then also on our private VIP page. There's going to be different videos, different topics on each different page several times a week, so make sure you're following all those different pages. I'll put all the links out there. And that's all we have for now. If you have any questions or anything, put it into the comments, and I'll get back to you.